you know, just for the heck of it, I stuck my uh, GP2X Wiz uh, SD card in here, and uh, a menu came up, which is funny here. One second. Let's go back home. So then I was going through the menu, and of course it says games, and I'm like, all right, let's check it out. And then I see all these games come up, but that's only because it has the same folder structure. Um, these are actually for the GP2X Wiz, and uh, unfortunately they have to be ported to this version of the canoe. So, you know, you can click go, it says load. Well, you might get some weird effect like that, but obviously it was not meant for this system, so it doesn't work. Let's see if I can get back to the home menu. Probably not, I think I'm stuck in here now, because this game is not meant for the canoe. Oh, something's going on. Did it reboot, reset? I don't know. So, looks like I'll just have to reset it, which again, for the canoe is not too bad at all for the time it takes or anything like that. Um, oh, I think that game, the game, okay, there, just powered down. You know, so now you run apps that aren't meant for a specific uh, device and it can cause some issues. So let's power her back on and uh, boot right up there. Again, I, I do like the booting and I do like the fast that it's faster than the uh, the Wiz. There we are, back to the menu. And uh, so yeah, I'm not gonna go into any more games <laughs> until I load some games on here that were, excuse me, that were actually meant for the canoe. You can go through the Explorer here and uh, you can see, see Flash, eBook, Comics, Apps, Unfortunately, I have nothing on here for, for the for this system, except music, which is, of course, your typical MP3 files. So, yeah, unfortunately, I did have some MP3 files to check out, so let's look at the music interface. Crank that up. From the 43rd floor of the Terror Dome, I'm Jerry Terrifying, and you're listening to the Mondo Coolcast. <laughs> hey, Jerry. So there we go. You can see you can skip through. Different podcasts, very nice. There's settings here. Visual effect. I believe there's only the one. Again, more skins. More skins and apps and things like that will come out for it, no doubt, as with their past devices. What I do like is as you're listening, you can still scroll through the menu, look for other items. This week I talk about police like photos. Turn you down there a bit, Jerry. Excuse me. We also have MN12 bird on. <laughs> Good sound as you can hear. Pumping through those speakers. So uh, yeah, let's look at some uh, pictures. See how they look on the screen. Again, while not quite as bright and sharp as the uh, the OLED uh, screen from the GP2X Wiz, um, still quite nice, colorful, bright. Uh, I actually have it on a lower setting of brightness, and because uh, I like to conserve my batteries. And as you can see, it's still still quite nice looking. Was, these were just some random pictures I had thrown on the card. Very nice, as you can see. There we go. Whoa, hey, Cammy. Mmm, Cammy. <laughs> Chun Li! Yeah, so it's got, you know, it's got a pretty nice uh, resolution on it. Quite happy with that. I don't know what settings they have for pictures. Oh, yeah, okay. Slideshow in, uh, interval time. Pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, you can magnify that if you like. And uh, go back. And uh, yeah, the directional pad works just fine. Or as I've shown you, you can go by uh, simple uh, interf uh, touch screen interface. Some Zelda action. Very nice. Oh, who's that? <laughs> So cool stuff. So that's the slideshow and the uh, MP3 function. I'm ha very happy with both. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any video on here yet to show you. 
But uh, yeah, the uh, music interface is quite nice, quite nice indeed. You know, by ninety-six, ninety-seven. All right, so we'll take a look later the, uh, at uh, sadly, the same games and apps fun. as I go through them later on. Okay, Rob, maximum RD out for now. Although I'll probably, I'll probably do some more with the games and apps, and then just edit it all together to one long video. All right, folks, thanks for watching so far, and uh, more coming up on the GP Canoe. So here's something uh, kind of cool, too. Um, sorry for the lame way that I'm uh, displaying this for you. But basically, if you go to the uh, Fun GP website, it's basically... Uh, www.fungp.com you can create an account here there's an app store community uh, customer center create a account login download their fun GP PC manager currently at version 1.0 anyway I did that and I installed it and uh, after doing so I got to this interface and uh, it's kind of neat because it hooks right up to the website. It will detect your canoe device and I'm pretty sure probably your GP2X device if you actually, uh, your GP2X uh, Wiz, I think it will also detect that device. Um, I think pretty much anything hooked up to the same uh, included USB cable. And uh, right there, see it, uh, it reads the uh, canoe device and then it has all the folders on my PC and uh, yeah so it's good uh, file um, software for transferring and synchronizing between your PC the device um, as I said I actually used this uh, it's called fun GP NetSync browser 3.5 I used that to actually register my device with the fun GP website so uh, you know, not a bad, not a bad setup overall. It really reminds me of uh, actually being quite professional. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, and uh, from there, you know, I could go to the area on my hard drive. I actually created a folder uh, to make it simple called Canoe, where I had uh, already downloaded bunch of uh, games and uh, demos and uh, firmwares and things like that located right here so uh, I don't know let's give this a shot here I'm gonna try I may be doing this wrong so this is live folks we'll see what happens I'm gonna say game I'll select this game a lightsaber and uh, few I guess it's fusion or fusion I'm sure something is lost in translation. And uh, then select the game folder down here. Now, I don't know if there's a simple... Oh, I think if I... Yeah, click this button, it says sync. And it does seem to be transferring. So, interesting. It's uh, I was not expecting any of this. I mean, surely, uh, you know between hooking up with your PC and USB and using an SD card I mean I've always transferred files that way in the past uh, using just an SD card reader um, but uh, you know what the heck you know they're including some software here that seems to be synchronizing everything so uh, we'll give that a shot seems to be working fine and uh, yeah I'll click close window after transferring and uh, yeah once that completes which it seems to have done I will disconnect the canoe from the USB all right now I'm gonna go to the games section and what do you know the two games are in fact there. Very nice. That's a, that's a bonus. I've never used any kind of uh, file manipulation or uh, synchronizing software. 
So that's pretty good. You know, that's very professional, like you would expect on uh, from, you know, Sony or Nintendo or somebody like that. So, yeah, good going. Good going, GP, Game Park Holdings. So, uh, yeah, I'll launch one of these games. Turn the volume up now. <laughs> this is something simple called Lightsaber. I think yeah, this is just like a home... I'm not sure if it's a homebrew or a professional game. Um, what's happening? Not much happening. Let's get out the stylus. Touch the lightsaber. Okay, that's that's kind of cool. Not sure. Oh, went out. Let's try that again. Does it? Is it? I don't know. If this is part of the built-in. Nope. Hmm. What to do? Moving the directional pad. Nothing's happening. Um, I don't know how to play this. Touch the lightsaber. Nope, <laughs> it goes out when I touch it. What about the top buttons? No, the buttons aren't doing anything. Well, this is what happens when you don't read the directions, folks. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Is it sound operated? It's not moving. Oh, wait. Wait. Is it? Oh, it's just a silly little... <laughs> wave it around. Okay, it. I think it's basically just a simple little test to test your uh, built-in uh, uh, motion sensor. That's all that is. So, but in a cool way. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny actually. Let's uh, get out of that. <laughs> Go to the other game. I think this is like a puzzle type game. And see how that does. Oh, that one didn't load. So maybe I done something wrong but anyways yeah I'm still very new to all of this so we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah nice interface and uh, very cool software if you go to the fun GP website you could uh, set up an account uh, register and uh, get some synchronizing software download some free games and stuff more later